What is Instagenius? I just wanted to take a couple of minutes of your time and show you how awesome this plugin is. It's a WordPress plugin, so it's super easy to install. You just upload, activate, and then once you've activated it, this will display. And you can choose what, which image you want. Um, it's sticky thing, so it will stay there. You can choose where you want to display it. All of those good things, of course. But what happens when someone is new to the website? Here, I'm not logged in to the website. I'm just showing that I'm a new visitor. Um, they click on here and it will come up with some searches. Actually, when they first load it, it'll be empty, but I loaded this already. So it comes with a search box. Now, all of these here are um, Amazon products. So um, it lets us like find a whole bunch of different products searching Amazon. Now, if someone clicks on add to cart, they'll go over to um, the cart in Amazon dropping the 90 day cookie. So you'll get commissions for longer. But the really cool part is this bit here. It um, adds buyer's advice. Now, if someone looks here and they'll like go, oh yeah, they say it's a good time to buy. It really like, just, it just adds that little extra nudge towards buying. So hopefully they'll hit that. But if they decide, nah, I don't want to buy it, um, they can click on this here, which is add to bargain watch list. Now, when I click it, not logged in, it will say create your free price alert and it will capture their email address um, and subscribe them to track pricing updates and stuff for this product. So it's very, very targeted. Your user chooses exactly what they're searching for. Um, it gives them exactly what they want uh, and then it subscribes them. So people will subscribe to that. Now let me show you what happens when I'm logged in. So here I'm logged in. Um, if I click on here, um, now you can click on here or you can put in search terms, nice and easy. Um, but when I am logged in um, and click on the add to bargain watch list, oh, at the moment it says not subscribed, ignore that, it'll be fixed. Um, it subscribes me to notifications for this product. So um, our plugin actually tracks the price when we click the add to watch list, it tracks the price and then whenever there's a price drop, it sends automated sequences. Now let me show you what that looks like in the back end. So very excited. All right, so over here you can choose, or here you can put your um, different Amazon accounts in. So um, any of these ones it will work for. And um, they've got, so these ones here all have APIs, so you can get accounts and then uh, the more you have here, then the more will appear in the drop down, all linking to your Amazon accounts. Um, now you can connect to autoresponders so that when people sign up for notifications, they also get added to a mailing list. You can also come over here. Now this is the really neat part. What happens is um, people go into an automated sequence follow-up sequence and what what happens is the system actually works and watches for that product and when there's a drop and you can choose what percentage drop what over in the Amazon settings you can choose all of that it will trigger um, this recommended products email and all of these here are editable so you can uh, put in uh, we've got managed subscription so that it's all nice and you know I can spam friendly um it is it's you can edit these as you like um, you can use these tags and put in recommended products you can put in the product name the product link and everything here will be a hundred percent automated once you get it set up so as you can see oh uh, yeah you can choose like where you show it um what you want to display over here um, all of these kinds of things uh, as you can see I'm very very excited it's very set and forget um, completely done for you and I look forward to seeing you when we launch on the 21st of September